The Battle of Daidu took place from 30 April to 3 May 1968 in Quang Tri Province during the Vietnam War. Chapter 1 Background The Khua Viet River served as a vital supply line for the 3rd Marine Division in northern Quang Tri Province, running from the Khua Viet base to the Dong Ha Combat Base which in turn supported the Marine bases along the demilitarized zone. The Khua Viet area was part of the napoleon saline operational area with the 1st Amphibian Tractor Battalion responsible for securing the Khua Viet base and its vicinity. The 1st Amtrak Battalion had operational control of a rotation of Marine Infantry Battalions. Chapter 2 – Battle In late April, four People's Army of Vietnam battalions, including two from the 320th Division, infiltrated past the Army of the Republic of Vietnam 2nd Regiment to occupy the area around Dai Du 2.5 km northeast of Dong Ha. The Paven moved into a series of pre-built mutually supporting bunkers surrounded by barbed wire which had been built over the preceding weeks unnoticed by the ARVN, who were responsible for security in the area. At 3.30 on 30 April Paven in the hamlet of Unlock fired on a United States Navy PBR, which returned fire and then returned to Dong Ha base. At 4 o'clock the Paven opened fire on an LCU causing severe damage and killing one sailor. At 7 o'clock a patrol from Company H, 2 fourths Marines operating north of Dai Du was sent to investigate the area. Two platoons from Company F were ordered aboard Amtrak's to move to join Company H. As Company H advanced towards the suspected Paven position they came under heavy machine gun, mortar and rocket fire from across a stream in the hamlet of Dong Sun. Company H was withdrawn to await the arrival of the Company F reinforcements. The reconnaissance platoon and two M48S were also sent as reinforcements. The Marines called in air and artillery strikes which were reported to have knocked out three Paven machine guns and Company H crossed the stream 400 meters northwest of Dong Sun. Company F riding on Amtrak's crossed the stream west of Company H and positioned itself to attack Dai Du. At 1400 hours both companies launched their attack and by 1500 hours Company H had secured Dong Sun. Company F's attack on Dai Du was stopped some 300 meters short of the hamlet, recoilless rifle fire had knocked out two Amtraks, while mortar and machine gun fire had stopped the infantry advance. An attempt to reinforce Company F by landing Company G nearby was stopped when Paven forces attacked Company G's landing zone near Lam Sun. At 16.25 Company B 1 3rd Marines aboard Amtrak's landed south of Unlock under cover of Task Force Clearwater gun boats. Company B was met by intense fire which destroyed one Amtrak and disabled another, nevertheless Company B captured half of Unlock Hamlet until its advance was brought to a halt, and its commanding officer killed. 1st Amtrak Battalion Commander, Colonel Hull ordered Company F to withdraw from Dai Du and join Company H in Dong Sun so the Marines would only have two perimeters to defend overnight. That night the Paven probed the Company FH position at Dong Sun but were deterred by Marine artillery. Marines losses for the day were 16 dead while Paven losses were 90 dead. The two fourths Marines commander Lieutenant Colonel William Weiser felt that inadequate resources were provided for the attack on Dai Du both in terms of men and air and artillery support. Major General Ravan M. Tompkins the 3rd Marine Division commander could not be sure whether this was the main thrust of the May offensive along the DMZ or a diversion for a larger attack still to come, however by the end of 30 April it was clear that the Paven intended to either attack Dong Ha base or move through the area and attack Quang Tri. With limited Marine reserves available, Tompkins requested Army reinforcements from I Field Force Commander Lieutenant General William B. Rawson who sent the 3rd Battalion, 21st Infantry Regiment to a landing zone north of Dong Ha on the morning of the 1st of May. On the morning of the 1st of May Company B patrols in Unlock found that the Paven had deserted the hamlet overnight. Outside the hamlet they saw a group of approximately 60 Paven moving across paddy fields north of Unlock and opened fire on them in what was described as a turkey shoot. While artillery fire continued to be directed at Dai Du, 
at 10 o'clock Company G and 2M48S were landed by LCMs at Unlock and moved west through Company B's positions to attack Daidu. Company G was met by intense fire from the entrenched pavement and had to knock out each bunker one by one, eventually reaching the north of Daidu by 1400 hours after having suffered heavy losses and both tanks being immobilized. The Paven then counter-attacked from the north and west of Daidu and from bypassed positions to the south forcing Company G to withdraw and establish a perimeter east of Daidu. A large Paven force, including an artillery spotter team was observed in the hamlet of Truk Kin 3 km northeast of Daidu and airstrikes were directed on them resulting in a decline in the effectiveness of Paven artillery fire. Company F at Dong Sun attempted to move south to support Company G, but was stopped by Paven fire and returned to Dong Sun. At 1700 hours Company B in Unlock was ordered to move west, to support Company G but was stopped by Paven fire which injured their replacement company commander. Company B was ordered back to Unlock where it linked up with Company E which had marched south along Highway 1 and then northeast across the stream. Marine losses for the day were 24 dead while Paven losses were 91 dead and two captured. At 5 o'clock on 2 May Company E attacked northeast from Unlock towards Company G's position near Daidu in the face of heavy Paven fire. Meanwhile, Company G attacked Paven positions in southern Daidu knocking out bunkers with white phosphorus grenades, satchel charges and M72 laws. By 9.30 Companies E and G had secured Daidu. With Daidu secured, the Marines sought to squeeze the Paven with a hammer and anvil approach, while an ARVN mechanized battalion would secure the hamlets of Donglei and Thong Nia and establish blocking positions, the Marines would attack northwest, taking the hamlets of Dingtu and Tuangdu. At 1300 hours Company H attacked northwest from Daidu towards Dingtu in the face of heavy Paven fire which stalled their advance through the hamlet. The Paven then counter-attacked and the company commander radioed that he was in danger of being overrun. Company E, although numbering only 30 men, immediately moved forward to support Company H, pushing forward into the Paven defenses until a large Paven counter-attack stopped their advance and threatened to overwhelm them. Both companies were ordered back to Daidu under the cover of marine airstrikes. Hull liaised with the ARVN mechanized battalion which was now west of Daidu and it was agreed that they would advance one kilometer north to Thong Nia while the marines renewed their attack on Dingtu. At 1600 hours the attack on Dingtu resumed with Company G in the lead, followed by Company F. Company G pushed through the now lightly defended Dingtu and had reached the outskirts of Tuangdu when it was stopped by Paven fire from across the stream which still, had not been reached by the ARVN. Company F advancing slightly further east meanwhile had met heavy Paven fire and become separated from Company G. The Paven then counter-attacked at Tuangdu and Company G fought back surrounded by a wall of marine artillery fire, eventually withdrawing to meet up with Company F and both companies then withdrew to Dingtu and then Daidu. Marine losses for the day were 40 dead while Paven losses were almost 380. Chapter 3, Aftermath On the morning of the 3rd of May the Paven had largely abandoned the Daidu area. BLT 1 3rd Marines relieved BLT 2 4th Marines and swept through Dingtu and Tuangdu meeting no resistance. The Marines had lost 81 killed in the battle while the Paven had lost at least 600 killed. Company E Commander Captain James E. Livingston and Company G Commander Captain J. R. Vargas were each awarded the Medal of Honor for their actions during the battle, while two-fourths Marines Commander Weezer was awarded the Navy Cross. The ARVN had lost five dead and killed 39 Paven in their advance to Thong Nia. The Paven have never released their casualties for Daidu, but claimed victory stating that they had defeated three Marine battalions and elements of the non-existent U.S. 73rd Air Cavalry Brigade on 2 May, killing over 500 Americans. Max Hastings writing in 2018, described Daidu as an act of sustained folly blaming Hull and Tompkins for not appreciating the tactical situation and continuing with costly frontal attacks on 1 and the 2nd of May. Weezer stated I don't believe Tompkins ever realized what was going on.